Hello guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. Uh, today is an integration paper three question. This is integration by substitution. So if you are having trouble with integration by substitution, this is a very good question to start with. So let's have a look at the question and we can get started with right away. So you have to integrate untrue of x over one minus x, and you have to show it that it will become an integral of sine square theta if you use substitution, so, uh, x is equals to sine squared theta. Okay, so in this question, we're going to find integration of under root of x over one minus x dx, and we have to show that it will become integral of two sine squared theta. If we use substitution, x is equals to sine squared theta. So let's start with the main idea of integration by substitution. We will always start by differentiating the substitution that is given. So let's differentiate this substitution this will become dx upon d theta, that is equivalent to, so power will be the oper first operator, so power would go down, so it will become two, sine theta, power would reduce by one, and you multiply with the in, uh, differentiation of the box, that is sine theta would become cos theta times one. So this will become two sine theta, cos theta. And if I make dx as the subject, it will be 2 sine theta cos theta d theta. So this is the first step of integration by substitution that we always do. What we do is we differentiate the substitution that is given and make dx the subject in this differentiation. So we have done that successfully. Let's move on to this part. Now, we start uh, substituting uh, sine square theta in the place of x everywhere. So this will become, this section will become sine square theta over. This will become one minus sine square theta This dx will now become 2 sine theta cos theta d theta. All right, so now we split these uh, square roots. This 1 minus sine square is going to become cos square. So this will become square root of sine square theta over square root of cos square theta times two times sine theta cos theta d theta. Now we can clearly see these square roots are going to cancel out and we are going to left with, be left with sine theta over cos theta times two sine theta cos theta, d theta. All right, over here, things have become very simple now. This cos theta will cancel out with this cos theta, and you're left with integral of two sine squared theta, d theta. So this, over here, we have done a successful substitution, and we have brought it into the correct form. Now. In this process, this is of course half of the question. The next half of the question is going to be uh, how to integrate this, but that's for another video. We will cover it in some other later video. I will just leave a subtle hint for those of you who want to solve this. We would use a double angle identity, of course, to integrate this sine square theta. You would try to substitute one plus one minus cos two theta over two in this sine square, and this would be solved very easily in a couple of steps. So if you like this video, if you've learned something from this video, do share it with your friends or anybody who, whom you know might need it. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any queries, just leave us a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.